so we are now on lesson 21 and we're still talking about the Doppler effect and in this lesson we are actually going to talk about or prove or why is it that we conclude that using the Doppler effect that the universe is in actual fact expanding as well as mention a few applications of um, the Doppler effect and to start off the discussion let us consider um, a, the, the visible range of the electromagnetic spectrum. I'm hoping it's not the first time you hear of the electromagnetic spectrum but that visible range is actually arranged in this way so you have the red light and then orange, yellow, um, green and then blue uh, indigo and then at the other end of the spectrum you'd find your your violet so you know roig biv and then you can actually these are actually arranged in order of increasing frequency so increasing frequency so what does that mean this means that the red light here if we compare to the blue light for example um the blue light would actually have a higher frequency higher f but then remember if the frequency is higher the wavelength is shorter so meaning you'll have a shorter uh, wavelength and then here for red um for the red light we would actually have a, a lower frequency which corresponds to a longer wavelength so that is important for you to know why is it important so remember so the red light like we mentioned has a, a longer wavelength than the blue light which has a shorter one um does if a, a shift to if we have a shift towards um the red um the red spectrum or the longer which has a longer wavelength but a, a lower frequency that would indicate that the source of light is actually moving away from the observer and then this shift you're gonna understand if what i'm saying right now is not making sense this shift can be observed if you compare two absorption spectra of moving of stars moving um with a reference spectra i'm not sure if i should remove this let me not remove it actually so let's say we have a a an absorption spectrum and then there it is and it looks something like this And then we know that towards this side we would have the so red the spectrum. Let, the um, let us continue. So remember on this side we said we have a little bit of this is the red end of the spectrum. This is the um, maybe towards the blue end of the spectrum, right? So now this is our stationary reference that is not moving. Stationary ref that is not moving. And then we take another simple of maybe a star somewhere and we're going to compare it to this one let's compare it and we see that it's um absorption spectra actually looks something like this because now they look to be on the same position it actually looks to be where this part is now there and then these two parts are now over there and this one maybe it's here this one perhaps here so what are you noticing there is actually a shift towards the red part of the spectrum right and we actually call that the red shift so there's actually a shift towards the lower frequency longer wavelength right and if the frequency is lower it actually means that the source is actually moving away remember when we did those but when we did those four instances if that observed um if the observed frequency is lower it means the source either the source or the the listener are moving away from each other so we call that the red shift but now let us compare another situation so we take another um spec of uh, 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 absorption spectra and we look at it and we're comparing it to this to this one and now we see that um this one now comes here these two now are now here and then this one may be here and finally so here we say we have a shift towards the, the the right so we call this um the blue shift so there's a shift uh towards the higher wavelength so the higher frequency and but shorter wavelength 
what does that mean if we observe a higher frequency that means that uh, the, either the source or the listener are, is moving towards um um towards each other they, it's either remember our reference is stationary so it's either this um this source is actually moving towards so now let us define um the two important terms which are red shift as well as um blue shift so now we have the red shift which can be defined as an object moving from away from the observer or the blue shift which can we can now define as an object that is moving towards the the observer so because most stars so most stars in the universe if they take a sample of a star they actually exhibit a red shift that is when we actually conclude that um that they are actually moving away so those stars are actually moving away from from the f and this means that and thus we conclude can conclude that the universe is in actual fact expanding because if it was not expanding if it was i don't know constricting then these stars would actually move towards but because it's expanding this these stars now are actually just moving away from from the f so now i think to finish off our discussion we can actually talk about um the application of um a few applications of the doppler effect um you can use the doppler effect in medicine so application is commonly used in medicine where we measure the the what the the rate of blood flow blood flow rate and another one i'm thinking um normally they say that to observe the the heart rate of a fetus and also we can also check like we've mentioned whether stars are moving away or uh, use them as proof that the universe is essentially expanding so yeah this brings us to the end of this lesson in the next lesson we're going to be looking at a question from a previous exam paper that talks about or that requires us to use all of the knowledge that we've now learned in these three lessons so thank you so much for watching